Good morning. Good morning, friends. How are we doing today? We are getting ready to go for a lovely spin. I am trying something out again today, new technology. So apparently on uh, Sirius XM at nine o'clock, Soul Cycle Radio puts on Soul Cycle music. So if we all wanted to follow the same music, we could potentially, if you have Sirius XM playing, listen to the same music. Anyway, I'm gonna try it out. I wanna see what uh, the Soul Cycle music is all about. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it works. So we're getting warmed up on the menu today. Lactic acid buffering. So we've got uh, lots of work, just some threshold coming up. Our first ladder is going to be uh, on the flats, and the second ladder is going to be climbing. I'm going to explain more about that as we go along. And uh, right now we're in zone one, five minutes here. Warming up. I hope you're all having a glorious week. The weather yesterday was unbelievable here. Nice day for a ride. So we're going about 80 to 90 on the RPMs. Keeping it steady. So we've got people on Zwift. We've got uh, Tara, Renee, Carrie, and France on Zwift this morning. And we've got seven of you guys on Facebook. Unfortunately, when I'm teaching, I can't see who's on. I love it when you comment after so I know who's on. Uh, it just makes my day. So we got seven on there and five on Zwift. That's a nice class. Well done, everyone. Well done for getting up this morning, getting out of bed, getting your breakfast in early so that you can have a lovely ride with us. It's so nice to connect with the community pretty much every day. This afternoon, uh, this one's for you, Carrie, if you're listening. I'm going to be doing strength training uh, for people with knee issues. I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, what to do when you have a knee problem and uh, how you can come back to strengthening it um, safely. So that's at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about knees because I know, I know a few things about knees. <laughs> All right, hope you got your tunes cranked at home. Last week was fun, we had a few disco tunes. I got the soul cycle music happening today. I will let you know if I approve. I took a soul cycle class in Vegas last year. What a hoot that was. <laughs> Not my style of cycling, but hey, if it gets people moving, that's, that's fun. At the end of the class, we had a dressed up unicorn come out and all the confetti fell to the floor. We were lined up together, shoulder to shoulder in a dark room, lifting up little baby weights uh, off the back of the bikes. It was different. <laughs> when in Vegas, you got to try it out. Just do it once. And then we come back to the regular old spinning classes for cyclists because this is what we enjoy, training together on our bikes, so that when we get outside, we're strong and ready to go. Ah, oh, Sue Martin Bush got on. I just saw that text pop up. Good, Sue, well done. Sue's been having trouble with the technology. It's all new for all of us, Sue, don't you worry. <clears throat> so we're just coming into our first five minutes in zone one. It's pretty easy. Turning those legs over at about 80 to 90 RPMs. So I want to review the zones again. Zone one is really a warm up. Riding your bike to the store with the kids or the grandkids if you've got them. For the grand dog, I know Renee's on here, she's got a grand dog. Um, and then zone two, that's your long ride pace. Something you can hold for a long ride, but you don't feel too out of breath. You should be able to close your mouth, breathe through your nose in zone two. Zone three, we start pushing out a little harder through the mouth, <sighs> sitting on the edge of uncomfortable, 
that type of thing. And it's always good to look at your heart rate in each zone just to see how your body is reacting to the training stress that you're putting on it. And then you start to learn a number or a range of numbers for each zone. So that's zone three. Zone four, we start to breathe harder, right? We start to breathe from the chest. Talking starts to become labored. This is sub-threshold. This is what we call a sweet spot. This is a place we need to do a lot of training in. A lot of training in zone four, a lot of training in zone two. So we're gonna spend a lot of time in four today. All right, time to shift gear. Take it into your zone two now. This is your long ride pace. We're gonna up the RPMs here, 85 to 95, as you're getting more warmed up. So you should be able to breathe through the nose. Close your mouth at any time. So zone four, we've got just sub threshold. Next zone will be zone five. Zone five is just above threshold. Just if you're looking in terms of heartbeats, it's about three to five per minute higher than zone four. But this is where we start to feel a significant burn in the legs and the breathing becomes really labored. Tendency is to clear the throat in zone five. <clears throat> you hear people do that. As long as you're well, and hopefully you all are well, uh, that's when we start to see a zone five shift in the saddle maybe. We start to want to wiggle around a little bit. Zone six is really hard to get to. Maybe hold it for one to two minutes at the max, but then you need a long recovery. So you're talking about two or three minute recovery, maybe five minute recovery. Then we get to zone seven, very difficult to get there. Maybe hold it for 15 to 30 seconds. And again, we need a long recovery in zone seven. So these are all based on Andy Kogan. He wrote a fabulous book on training with power. And uh, he's a big believer in working with power, but I know a lot of you guys don't have those power meters on your bikes yet. If you're on a spinning bike, we go on feel. Zones one to seven. And then we look at heart rate if you've got it and see how your body is reacting to the training and start to recognize numbers that work for you in terms of zones. All right, let's keep going. Where are we at? We're seven minutes into this workout now. Once we hit 10 minutes, we're gonna start our first lactic acid buffering ladder. So what we're doing there is 30 seconds in zone four and then 30 seconds zone one. This is all gonna be on the flats, 85 to 95 RPMs. When you do the zone one, we're gonna slow down the legs, 80 to 90 RPMs, recover for 30 seconds. Then we go up, 60 seconds in zone four, 60 seconds recover. 90 seconds zone four, 90 seconds recover, and then two minutes in zone four, and two minutes in zone one to recover. Then we're gonna take 10 minutes in zone two and repeat that ladder one more time, but the next time we do it, we're gonna go a little bit higher and we're gonna do it climbing. All right, so that's on the menu today. Hope you're feeling energized, fueled up for your workout, and ready to go. Cheers, gang. Another minute and a half to go before we hit that first 30 seconds hard. I'll give you lots of warning so you can shift gears and bring yourself into zone four. Remember zone four is just below threshold Breathing hard. Whew. We're doing it. One minute to go. We did some FTP testing yesterday. If you guys online are keen to do some FTP testing. I could do an FTP test class 
using heart rate or perceived exertion. Let me know in the comment box if you want me to do that. We we'll probably do that next week. Just so you have heart rate ranges. 30 seconds to go. Then you're gonna add more gear and go hard for 30. Are we ready for this? Heart rate sitting just a low end of zone two on my end. So it's gonna be a bit of a shock to the system that first 30 seconds. Here it is. Five, three, two, one, and go. 30 on. And hopefully you can hear this whip sound, which tells us when to stop and go as well. Hitting zone four here, just for 30 seconds, and recover. Just slow down the legs to recover. Next interval, 60 seconds on. Getting ready for it here. Five, three, two, one, and go. 60 seconds on in zone four. Eighty-five to ninety-five RPMs. Keeping that pedal stroke steady. Almost there. And recover, slow down your legs, zone one. One minute easy. I'm gonna play with my music a little bit so we can get a little volume without you guys hearing it. Music really is a motivator. All right, we're on one minute easy. Next interval, 90 seconds, minute and a half in zone four. And here it comes. Three, two, one, and go. 90 seconds, zone four, pull it in. Add that extra gear, pull up your speed a little bit, 85 to 95. Let's do it. As things get challenging, watch those shoulders, guys. Bring them down. Keep it steady. Nice, easy pedal stroke. Starting to hear the breath a little bit more now as we add more challenge and more time with each interval. Starting to maybe feel a little bit of burn. Yeah, right around the quadriceps. Around the knees, feeling that coming in. Just start to notice those physiological symptoms of being in zone four. So if you have no technology, you know what it feels like to be in zone four. Really important to be able to tap in to those zones. 
Almost at the end of this 90 seconds. And recover, slow down your legs. 80 to 90 RPM, zone one. And you can hear it, right? We're starting to breathe. We're starting to work. Woo! Heart rate's coming up, there we go. 90 seconds easy here. Bringing the heart rate down. Controlling the breath, the heart rate with your breath. Deep exhales, we talk a lot about this in yoga. That's the stuff that brings the heart rate down. So you can recover, flush out those legs, and do another spectacular interval. Next one coming up, two minutes. Don't forget to drink. Cheers. I'm liking the Sirius XM. Soul Cycle music is working. At 9 a.m. every morning, they play music for spinning. So if you want, you can play what I got on at the same time. Only if you have serious XM. All right, next one coming up. That went fast. Two, one, go. Two minutes hard. Zone four. Let's go. Whoosh. That's it. This song is called Push It. <laughs> that works. Push It. Keep smiling. I promise you, it's much easier to do this together than it is alone. And I'm so glad you're here with us, pushing it good together. We're over the halfway mark here for this two minute interval. Booyah. Whew. 30 seconds to go. Breathing hard, feeling that burn around those knees, around those legs. Quadriceps are working. Caps are working. Shoulders are relaxed. Almost there. Take it all the way in. Strong. Strong. Let's go. And recover. Slow down those legs. Two minutes in zone one. Nice work. If you need a saddle break, sit it up. In zone one, it's easier to do it now. Because we can keep those legs spinning when we sit up. Draw those shoulders back, maybe do some shoulder circles. If you found yourself getting a bit tight and tense there. And let's use that breath to bring the heart rate back down again. Whew. Feels so good to breathe hard. It really does make you feel alive. So that wasn't too bad. We're gonna do another one of those. This time the intensity is going to be a bit harder. We're going to be doing it on a hill and we're going to take it up 
just over threshold into zone four, top of zone four, bottom of zone five. We got lots of time before we do that because we are spinning it out now. And then we're gonna hit zone two for 10 minutes. So you have lots of time to recover and do that next interval really well. Starting to sweat, woohoo! Feeling the glow. I hope you are too. Okay, here it is. Add some more gear, take it into your zone two. We're doing 10 minutes in zone two and start to pull that speed back up 85 to 95. Setting up a really nice posture for these 10 minutes. This is a great time to think about smooth pedal stroke and beautiful form. Think about lifting up from the knees. Taking a few seconds here just to feel every single part of that pedal stroke. And now push your foot forward, your feet forward, so you feel the end of your shoes. Making that nice, just slight downward angle with your feet. Not too sharp, just a slight angle down. Feel the bottom of your toes on the end of your shoes. Now press down on the pads of your feet. Notice how your pedal strokes becomes choppy and maybe a little bit more powerful. This is the most powerful part of the pedal stroke, but we don't want it to be choppy. So this is where it just takes awareness into that part, that it's powerful, but it's choppy, and that we need all the other parts of the pedal stroke to make it smooth. And now we're gonna scrape the dirt off the bottom of our shoes. You may notice yourself slow down a little bit, feeling all of that shift come into your hamstring, all that strength come into your hamstrings. And notice how much more smooth you are putting that part of the pedal stroke back in from just pushing on the pads of your feet. Cruising along in zone two. And just keep a nice steady flow of the pedal stroke, thinking about lifting up from the knees, pushing down to the front of your feet, pushing down on the pads of your feet and kicking it back. Feeling it in the hamstrings. Smooth pedal stroke, strong pedal stroke in zone two. Checking in to make sure you can still close your mouth and breathe through your nose. And maybe if you've got a heart rate monitor on, just check to see where you are now. Mid to low end of zone two. Bumbling along. Lots of people working in their gardens, on their properties. There's so many silver linings in this COVID lockdown. Seeing people outside, seeing people be healthy. It's awesome. So nice to see. Now more than ever, our health is truly important to us and keeping healthy by eating right, exercising daily, is more important than ever. <sighs> Z 
zone to that lovely long ride pace. And we're about halfway in to this zone two 10 minute segment. Feel free to stand up anytime you need, adding a little bit of extra gear and doing a standing climb in zone two for a little bit. A lot of you may not be used to the saddles you're on, so just enjoy a little stand and relief on the rear end. Zone two, we still want to feel that resistance on the flywheel. I hope you're feeling that it's not easy. You should be feeling like you're riding outside and you've got that resistance. Maybe it's the wind, maybe it's the road, but there is resistance in zone two. We're not riding to the store. We're in a pack and we're staying together. but it's something you can hold for maybe three or four hours. There's never really a zone one outside. Maybe with a tailwind there is. Tailwind in your drafting, maybe, <laughs> with a light gear. I hope you're recovering well because we've got this next lactic acid buffering ladder coming up. This next one, like I said, 30 on, 30 off, 60 on, 60 off, 90 on, 90 off, two minutes on, two minutes off. But we're doing it climbing. Seated or standing is up to you. If you want to do half and half, each one is going to hit your FTP, your functional threshold power, maybe your functional threshold heart rate, if you know what that is, or maybe if you're going on feel, we're gonna hit top end of zone four, bottom end of zone five. So the challenge will be greater than the last set. And the pedal stroke is gonna be at about 60 to 70 RPMs. So you're in climbing mode. Two minutes left to go before the next set. Close the mouth, breathe through the nose, check in, in zone two. Heart rate is good. And with just about one minute left to go, maybe you wanna sit up, take a posture break, before we hit this next ladder, grab a little sip of water, get ready for it, just in my shorts. All right, where are we at? 41 seconds left to go. And then I get a phone call, won't be more that. <laughs> Seriously, can't talk right now. 30 seconds to go. Whew. 
Woo! Getting stoked, stoking that fire within. Remember, it's 60 to 70 RPM, big hill. Here it is. Five, three, two, one, and go. Zone four, just above your FTP, just above that feeling of this burns, this hurts in a good way. 60 to 70 RPM. Just 30 seconds of this. And recover. Zone one. Only 30 seconds. And we hit it again for a minute. This one coming up. Three, two, one, and go. One minute on, on the hill again, 60 to 70 RPMs. Strong legs. Climbing strong. So we're just above that threshold power, that threshold heart rate. Feeling strong. Almost there. Ten seconds. Take it all the way up. Strong legs. And recover. Nice work. One minute in zone one. Slowing down the legs a little bit. Or if you release some gear. Speeding up the legs a little bit. <sighs> Next interval, 90 seconds. Going hard, climbing. Three, two, one, and go. 90 seconds here. Strong legs climbing up. Just above your FTP for your functional threshold heart rate. Zone four, zone five. See how those shoulders came up? Drop them down, drop them down. Shift that power, that strength right into your legs. Keep hitting it strong. Almost there. Climb, climb. Harder to talk here, as you can hear. Not breathing. And we're there, recover. Zone one. Nice work. 90 seconds easy. Get a little saddle break. So yeah, these are a little bit harder, right? That heart rate's higher. That breathing is stronger. Next interval, two minutes. Right back in there. 60 to 70 RPMs. Three, two, one, and go. Feel free to take it up out of the saddle. If that feels better. Give your better break. Two minutes hard. Let's do it. 
This is the last big interval. Breathing is labored. Ooh, spinning a little fast there. 60 to 70. It's been a grind, 60 to 70. But the reality is when you're on a hill and you run out of gears, this is exactly where you are, 60 to 70 RPMs. Steep hill. my throat heart rate's reaction to threshold 30 seconds to go Whew. almost there take it in strong And recover. Zone one, two minutes. Nice and easy. Woo hoo, well done, gang. Sit it up, take a breather. Roll those shoulders back. Let that tension go. We're at about 80 to 90 RPMs here. Lots of deep exhales to bring that heart rate down. Enjoying the little time in zone one. Feeling like you're descending this hill. Just two minutes in zone one and then we're gonna hit zone two again. Lots of long ride pace riding today. Getting ready for that lovely outdoor season. I was out yesterday, it was beautiful. Beautiful. A little FTP test recovery. All right, we're coming back to zone two now for about 20 minutes. For the spinners on the line, on the call. Here we are, zone two. 85 to 95 RPMs, pull in some more speed. If you want, we can do a little bit of Tabata in those last five minutes before cool down. For those on the spin, spin bikes, the Zwifters, you're gonna sit in zone two. You guys did a hard FTP test yesterday. So I want you to do a little more recovering today. Tall down. Hanging out in zone two. Mm -hmm. Find your flow. Hopefully you got some good beats going. Keep that flow. Low end is zone two on the Zwift ride. If you're on the spin bikes, I would love to see you mid to high range zone two. Just gonna take a saddle break here. Standing it up. Ah, 
feels better. Feel free to take it up out of the saddle anytime you like and hold it up there in zone two. Nice steady legs. Settling into a smooth pedal stroke, relaxed upper body. So for those of you who've been following, we're doing a ride this weekend. This would have been the CN cycle for Chio. And here's your challenge. I would love to see you ride 5K with your kids or 50 to 70K by the end of the weekend. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend for outdoor riding. You can do it indoors as well if you're not comfortable riding outside. I want to see you guys do 50 to 70K. And let me know when you've completed the challenge. This is going to be an amazing weekend for cycling, and we want to take advantage of it. So we're doing this for Chio, and this is the thing. One of our wonderful members, Pascal Savard, is making masks of all sizes for babies, for little kids, teenagers, and adults. What I'm going to ask you to do, if you can, and maybe you can't right now because I know a lot of people are out of work, donate a mask. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump on the Facebook page and you're going to email Pascal Savard under our link. And Pascal is busy making 10 masks a day for us right now. So she's working hard to make this happen. You can buy one mask or two. Each mask is $5. All I'm asking is just one mask, five bucks. If you wanna do more, go for it. If you need any for yourself or your family, they're great masks. Apparently they're easier on your nose and they don't tuck behind your ears. You can tie them in the back. So for kids, really important, the ones in Chio, it's not uncomfortable, so they're going to wear them. And we need to protect those kids in Chio right now. We had an outbreak at the Sick Kids in Toronto. Let's protect our Chio kids. So you'll just jump on. If you need help finding Pascal, let me know. Message me or Brenda. And you just send her an e-transfer. And I'm going to pick all those masks up for you guys and deliver them to Chio. If you want masks for yourself, Pascal lives in Barhaven, so you can pick them up at her place or let me know and I'll bring them back here to my place because I know I'm more center living downtown. I'll leave them in a little bag with your name on them on the front porch. And if I'm home, maybe we can say a social distance hi. This is our great way of being able to support those sick kids in Chio and keep them healthy. It's a crazy time for anybody who has to be in hospital right now. High worry factor, especially for parents who've got their little ones in there. We probably all had to take that little trip over to Chio with our kids, maybe for a set of stitches or a broken collarbone on the hockey ring. So we all know what it's like in there. Those doctors and nurses are amazing people there and let's support them now when they really really need us anyway that's enough with that <laughs> getting emotional about it all right still in zone two keep those shoulders relaxed nice smooth pedal stroke maintaining your zone two either seated or standing you might need a little standing break and take it up out of the saddle Slowing down the legs. Ah, yes. <laughs> Feels better. So we're 20 minutes here in zone two, but I'm going to call out some Tabatas in the last five. 
for you spinners who love your Tabatas at the end. Tabatas, 20 on, 10 off. We do eight repeats. When you're on, got a big gear, and you're either up or down in the saddle. On the 10 off, all you can do is just slow down your legs and wait for the next one. So we're on 20 minutes in zone two. I'll tell you what I'll do. When we're at 10 minutes into the 20 minutes of zone two, I'm gonna call out that Tabata set. Sound good? Awesome. Just in case you're getting antsy and wanna work a little harder today, I wanna give you that lovely option. Find in your flow. Gonna set my watch here, getting ready to do some Tabatas. We're gonna do it at the halfway mark of this 20 minute zone two. And we got about 50 seconds left before we start that Tabata. So uh, up to you, whether you wanna do it seated climbing, standing climbing, or on the flats with a nice fast RPM. Decide what you wanna do and commit to that for eight repeats of 20 on and 10 off. And we're getting ready to go in 20 seconds. Committing to eight of these powerful Tabatas. And here we are, five, three, Two, one, and go 20 on, hard as you can. And rest, slow down your legs, 10 seconds easy. And here it is, three, two, one, go. Whoosh. And rest, 10 seconds easy. Five. Three, two, one, go. Hooch. Let's go. Working them hard. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And rest. Three, two, one, go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Go, 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 go. 
and rest. Halfway gang, five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Boosh, and boosh. Bring those heart rates right up there. Back up into zone five. And rest. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. And rest. Two more. Three, two, one, go. Strong legs, strong heart, strong body. Go, go, go. Reach, reach. And rest. Last one coming up. Make it the best one yet. Maybe add a little more gear. Challenge yourself. Three, two, one, and go. That's it. Strong, strong. All the way, all the way, all the way. And rest, slow it down. Good job. Hopefully that got your heart rates up. Woo! Rest and recover in zone one. Good work. Take a minute in zone one here, bring your heart rate down. Just check in and see where that heart rate is. If you've got a heart rate monitor on, See where you're at and see how that felt and maybe compare what you think your zone is to your heart rate And if you're feeling recovered now, bring yourself back into your zone two. I'm gonna take five more minutes here in zone two. If you need a saddle break, take it on up out of the saddle. Keeping it in zone two. And don't forget to drink. Come back to your smooth pedal stroke. Make sure you're not scrunching your toes up in the end of your shoes. Pressing down on the pads of your feet, lifting up through the knees. Yeah, scraping that dirt off. Smooth. Shoulders down and relaxed. Long ride pace. We are almost done. My goodness, this hour goes fast. Whew. I hope you're feeling as energized as I am. It's a 
great day to get outside after this. Go for a walk. And if you're a triathlete, maybe go for a run. <laughs> a little brick training. So I'm not sure I'm loving the the uh, serious XFM <laughs> Soul Cycle channel. They keep talking, and they're not talking about spinning. So I am trying to come up with a solution so that we can all listen to the same music. Perhaps going into a Zoom forum so that we can listen to the same music. For now, though, we're going to keep these classes public so that. Everybody's aware that we're doing them and they can all join in. So many people are looking for fitness right now and I am happy to be able to give a, our services for free for now so that we can get everybody engaged. One minute 30 left in this zone two. And then we're gonna hit zone one and cool it down. Checking back in, you should be able to close your mouth and breathe through your nose in zone two. If you did those Tabatas, hopefully you're back down. And we'll start to sit it up nice and tall. Take those arms up and take a little tricep stretch, pressing that hand right down your spine. And the other side, stretching out the triceps. We do use a lot of tricep when we're riding just to lean our bodies onto the handlebars a little bit. And roll it out in front, feeling that stretch in your upper back here. Open it up, squeeze those shoulder blades back and together, opening up through the chest. And roll those shoulders back. Take that arm across, look the other way, stretching out your shoulder and your neck. And the other side. Take that arm out to the side. Tuck your chin in, feeling the stretch in your neck. And the other side. I hope you're feeling great and energized. Have a great, great afternoon. Remember two o'clock, we're gonna be doing a session on strengthening the knees for rehabbing them. And uh, have a glorious, glorious day. Don't forget Chio Challenge on the weekend. Any support, even if you're not out riding, would be fantastic. Love y'all. Have a great afternoon.